Okay, welcome back to Dave's Data Analytic Channel. Uh, this is the uh, evening of uh, February the 17th, 2020. I'm going to do a very quick introduction on how to how to how to do the the, the cyclistic bike sharing capstone project for the Google Data Analytics certification. A very brief introduction. We basically, going to load some couple. We're going to load a library. We're going to load some data, and and that's really about it. Okay, from that point on, you're really on your own. <laughs> okay, so come, what you go do, you come over here, click on data sets, search for, search for cyclistic, okay, then take the first one here. All right, now you go click on new notebook. And you're going to delete this. We're going to come up here. And we are going to load the uh, load the tidyverse package. Now we're going to go over here. You can see if you look up here, it says input. So, uh, so when, when we clicked on the, on the on the new notebook from the data tab, it automatically gives us. Uh, it automatically loads the cyclistic data for us. And you can see here, there's uh, there's 12 things. Now I'm going to show you very briefly how to import two of those and combine them into a single database. And then all you got to do is is to import all 10. And do it that way. Okay, so it's, we're just going to call this first import T1. And I'm actually going to use this to read underscore CBS. Okay, so you come down here for the first one, click on this, and click on this. Now this gives you the path and the statement name to import this data. Okay. Okay, there's one file. So we're, we're only going to import the first three files for the purpose of this demonstration, okay? Here's our second file we want to import. Now you, you could of course use the underscore CSV from CSV from the from the from the tidyverse package. And let's just do one more. No, let's let's do two more. Let's, let's just do the first quarter with the data. Okay. Just to make sure you understand that you don't need to import your data, it's already here. This is the data for the for the uh, Fitbit uh, data set is also already there, okay? So let's close this. Mm, let's just load the third one. Copy. We're just going to load all three of these. All right. Then we're going to do a dim. Then we're going to combine them into a data frame called bikes. Okay. And we're going to use the row by call. Now, the other, the other actually is another, that's a mistake. I'm, Okay, up, up here. Let's let's come back up here first of all. We'll do a row bind. 
Okay. So what this does is, this just depends each one of these data frames onto onto the end of the bike's data frame. Okay. Let's come up here. Let's load the let's load the tidyverse library. Now again, you could use the read underscore CVS here. Then we're going to do a dim to see how how big the, the data frame actually is. Okay, so now we got this located. It got this installed. Now we're just going to now we're just going to read the data. Okay, so what this tells us is uh, our bike's data frame has 628,000 rows and 13 columns. And there you go. From this point on, all you got to do, click on the code button, copy and paste either your code or your markdown into each one of these cells. Then save it, and then, there, and then, then, and then run it. Okay? So it's really is that simple. You got to go back again and, 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 uh, and, core, and then using the, uh, You'll come back up here. You gotta come back up here and import the use this command here to, to import the rest of these the rest of these uh, data files, and then and then come over here of course and put you know the t four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve uh, columns into here. Run the run the uh, bind column. You should have you should have. I think. 3,200,000 plus uh, let's just do this um, okay So you can see here the total data set should have three three million four hundred three million oh, what do we got here three million four hundred eighty nine thousand seven hundred forty eight rows. Now now here's your here's my final hint for today. What are you going to do with the rows where the where the start and end station name is missing? That's that's hint number one. Hint number two. What are you going to do? With the rows where where the where the trip duration is either zero or less than zero, those are your, those are your two hints for today. Okay, so th at this point you should be off and running. Okay, thanks so much for the these few minutes of your time. I hope you found this helpful. Okay, be sure to also keep up to date on the on the rest of the other other videos in this series on Caribou Data Science Channel.